After 12 years of being the head man at the NCAA, President Mark Emmert is stepping down because he and the NCAA mutually agreed to terms that he would do so. Yeah, I'm using the quote fingers because it's got all the makings of we pushed you out. Uh, I think it comes down to one word and one word only and nothing of what I'm going to say will probably shock you guys, but control and money, which we know people love control because they love money. But uh, President Mark Emmert, uh, his approval rating amongst the uh, college athletic directors early this year was at 10%. Only 10% of the athletic directors actually like having this man as their uh, boss. Uh, and also the NCAA is working on a new constitution. Uh, so they're in the... Uh, reformation the reconstruction era of the ncaa and why i say it all comes down to control is look man i understand the suits uh of any business any corporation and i don't think these guys are any different they love control but mark emmert he's not a control guy he's lost control of not only the ad's but uh just the student athletes uh, probably his co-workers in Indianapolis. He's just not a control guy. He's lost control. And I think in order for the NCAA to save face and to save a lot of money, they got to get this guy out of here. Now, I will say I'm not an anti-suit guy. I think that the suits play a critical role in formatting things, but I do think they overstep their boundaries a lot of times and they get greedy. Uh, but under Mark Emmerich, don't forget we had the uh, the girls, the uh, NCAA women's basketball scandal about them not being treated equally. The pitches got out during the tournament. Uh, players can now get paid. Their NIL deals, they lost that battle in the Supreme Court. Nine to zero. Like the conservative and the liberal judges uh, said, no, nah, this ain't right. And even Judge Brent Kavanaugh, he says the NCAA's business model would be flatly illegal in almost any other industry in America. Those are strong words, but uh, I think Brother Emmert just lost control of this whole situation, and I think they're about to bring in a new guy. Again, this is all my opinion, just from me watching, but I think they're going to bring in a new guy within the next year. Uh, they can either do that or he'll, Mark Emmert will leave on June 30th of 2023. I think the NCAA is about to get gangster if i could say that i think they're about to pull no punches i think they're about to get a little more cutthroat and i'm not talking about mafia style but i think they're about to make some money moves and i think they're about to have a new arch enemy if they didn't already in the sec uh and i tweeted last july i said is the sec attempting a coup of the ncaa seriously if they add ou in texas why should they even have to listen to any governing body about anything now that they've officially added Texans and Oklahoma, Emmert is out the door, new constitution in, I think uh, things are really about to shake up. And I think the first thing they'll try to do, emphasis on try, is clamp down on uh, all of the money that these students are bringing in. Probably not stop it, but I think there'll be a whole lot more restrictions going in. And let's not forget about uh, when he got his extension last year, a lot of the guys were not happy uh, Mark Few, the coach of Gonzaga, said Emmert needs to step up and be a leader and make some quicker decisions. Of course, he was referencing all of these federal cases about players being paid and coaches and all this crazy stuff. So it's just not been looking good for Mark Emmert. Uh, this, I'm going to just say this as, you know, business wise, it just looked like he just didn't get the job done. Um, and then this, the final thing was this big contract with CBS and Turner Sports that a lot of people are saying is going to cost the NCAA upwards of $3.5 billion for the, for the foreseeable future. So I don't know. This is a man who got his contract extended uh, last year through 2025. And now today he says he's stepping down mysteriously. I think it's about to be NCAA versus SEC for the you know the 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 power 
of governing college football. That's just what I see. Everything is lining up. I'm looking like a genius so far, but we'll see. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. I'll be watching this story closely because I think it's going to get kind of ugly and kind of legal. Yeah.